Hello everyone. Uh, this is an update slash little project working on. Um, I don't know if you guys heard, but Sophos released the most latest uh, not unified threat management, but the firewall. It's called the XG series. And uh, currently, right now, I'm actually working on implementing or setting it up, hopefully, on this R610. And they only allow you to have four gigs of RAM. No, sorry, six. And four cores, four cores of the CPU. Well, good thing that this only has a single core CPU, so it's not wasted. And six gigs of RAM. Um, little problem I've been going through is trying to get to the connection. I keep getting a uh, a um, weird connection. But the funny thing is, the IP address they make you use is a one seven two sixteen not sixteen not sixteen to get to it and uh, just weird but um yeah I promise you guys I'm going to show you a little uh, setup of uh, the thing a lot of the host been sold and replaced and um we've been doing numerous upgrades to kind of uh, do for the new year so physically there's two hosts and one SAM and the firewall and the edge router ubiquity Dell PowerEdge 5448. We're doing 3 gigabit um, trunking to both switch it, well, to this switch. This is the main one. This is more like the iSCSI switch that I use. But it doesn't really, I mean, it does do iSCSI. But pretty soon we're going to be doing a dual SFP Plus um, bonding, not bonding, but um, uh, SFP network connection that I have here for 10 gigabit. Check that out. So I ordered a uh, dual SFP SFP uh, Intel X5440 or no X5040 or something like that for $110 on eBay. Since I'm having issues, people can figure it out. But this switch here, I'm having issues uh, setting up uh, a uh, SFP 10 gigabit with these with these SFP ports. But what happens is like if I plug it in, so for example, I'll do a test. So we took this one out, and here we go. And check this out. It doesn't even light up, and these are 10 gigabit SFP plus ports. But here, no problem doing SFP. I don't understand it. You got some, some hints, you can help me out. If not, I got the dual thing. So you can, for people don't know, with SFP, you can do two hosts off of a uh, dual SFP card so that's pretty much it but here is a little update of my uh, oh 215 is acting up uh, I think it's not connected properly but here's a map let's see if we can get a full one there we go um a little setup, yeah. 215 is the one. This host has been moved away because I'm testing all the SFP off of it. So, mainly it's the 212 hosting all these VMs. Only a few of them are on the main ones that I need, but um, yeah, I promise you guys to show this. And um, so, right now, I have 37 gigahertz of CPU, 8 gigs of RAM. Total, the other has been taken out. I took out other RAM, which was slower speeds, and I sold it all. And I bought some, uh, some much better RAM, DDR3 ECC. Um, we got 9.3 terabytes of usable of uh, storage space on my SAN. Um, got a heartbeat, my SAN, my lawn, if you want to call it. Uh, dude, this hurts me. Oh, that's uh, that's my 215 host. Done. There's some of my VMs. None of them have been pushed through yet because they're stuck on 215, which is not communicating properly. Oh well, I'll deal with that later. Um, yeah, it's a little, a little upgrade, update, version 6.0, stuff like that. But um, it's been doing good. Yeah. And um, stupid air cam. And here is a uh, the 
NXG firewall, trying to get it all configured from the hosts. There's a 12 terabyte and two UPS systems. And I do have a uh, R710 that is for sale right here. It has almost, no, well, actually does have 1.1 terabytes. It has four 15K and four 10K drives. Only thing has 8 gigs of RAM, that's why I'm not putting too much in there. Um, it has two Xeon quad cores, um, two power supplies, 870 watts, and all the goodies. Um, 